Hello everyone. In this video, I'll give you a demo of a single plane full run balancing using Motionix iPad vibration analysis and rotor balancing kit. On the table, there is a small rotor with uh, evenly distributed holes on its disc, so I can add screws to create uh, imbalance, and I'll balance it later. The tool used is called Motionix iPad vibration analysis and rotor balancing kit. It comes with a two-channel deck box mounted on the back of the iPad protective case. Channel one is connected to the piezoelectric accelerometer on the rotor to measure vibration amplitude. Uh, the, the kit does come with a laser tachometer that can be connected to uh, channel two for uh, single plan two channel balancing and two plan uh, balancing. But in this, uh, in this video, since we're using four run method, only one channel is needed. So I only have one accelerometer connected. The app I use is called iRotor Balancer. It can do single plan and two plan balancing. For single plan balancing with four run method, there are four runs required. First, uh, a run without any trial weight to get original vibration, and then trial weight uh, at different locations on the rotor to measure vibration with trial weight. Let's start with the original vibration. I'll turn on the rotor and press get button in the app. I'll press multiple times and make sure the vibration amplitude is consistent. It is giving me consistent value at 0 0.52. And next I'll add the trial weight. To find the proper trial weight, we have a trial weight estimator in the app. I can enter the rotor weight, the trial weight radius, uh, balancing speed to get the recommended trial weight uh, value. In this case, it's uh, zero, around 0 0.3. Here are some uh, screws, knots, and washers I use as trial weight and correction weight. And this is a digital scale. I use it to get the values of the uh, nards, washers, and, uh, and screws. I have a 0 0.34 set screw. I'll use it as the trial weight. First, I'll add it at uh, zero degrees. Turn back on the rotor and get the vibration with trial weight. It's giving me 0 0.56. Next, I'll move the trial weight to 120 degrees. I'll capture it again. Then in the last row, I'll move it to 240 degrees. Give me 0 0.46. Now I have vibration from these four rounds. I can calculate the correction weight, which is 2 gram at 260 degrees. 
Let me remove the trial weight. And add the correction weight. This is a two gram screw I can add at uh, I don't have access to 262, I'll add it to 255. Let's see the vibration after correction. Now the vibration is 0.1, which is one fifth of the original vibration. And from the sound of the, of the rotor, you can tell it's running pretty smoothly. Once the balancing is complete, we can generate a PDF test report. It will allow you to enter the report title, date and time, staff name, machine and plant add the company logo and add the machine image from camera or photo library. It includes the balancing parameters and vibration before and after balancing. You can add a note, signature, and the map. Finally, I can save it in the local database and check it later from the local report manager. That concludes our demo for the single plan balancing with forum method. Again, the tool I'm using is MotionX iPad vibration analysis and rotor balancing kit. For more information, you can visit us at motionx.com and check more videos. Thanks for watching.